two models here and today we will be making a facility this will be a tutorial on how to make one so you must like have a little bit building experience it doesn't really matter I'll be doing the tutorial fully so let's name our place new simple facility everything else you can leave alone make sure it's also a base plate because you know it makes it easier so let's edit it you'll, you'll also be going into build mode so I'm not sure if, well if you have BC you don't have you can go into it, your own personal server alright so let's go to my models I'll also be using my own basketball training courts oh yeah I also added an update on them they now have a now the the whole hoop turns green and they have a new load thing uh, it's range not sure if it's really useful but you know we could use it alright so you know I'll just put the stuff where they belong alright so I have a court here and what you want to do is make it make two of them so duplicate it make sure they're not too far from each other so it doesn't look too bad but like this this distance looks fine it's you know about like 20 studs probably um so make sure you have the ball you can use the one by um gb00 his is not that bad it's fixed in a rea season season 8 ball s8 whatever alright so we'll move a ball in here I'll put it right there Let's let me show you what I did with the lights real quick just in case you haven't seen it yet anyway see the whole hoop just turns green I think it's pretty raw though look at this that's raw alright anyway let's get back to doing our stuff so add a ball put it in lighting yep there we go so you'll have two of these you know all normal supernatural alright so well next you'll the next thing you'll need is f3x so to use it you know you could just go here and search up f3x and you know just find it I like to use my own per personal tools um, right here yes put it into the starter pack because that's where it belongs to go into build mode so I'll do close save online so go to new simple facility Oh, I forgot to add admin in it. That's what we forgot. Admin, admin. So let's edit it again. Here, I'll I'll add admin. All right, my models. I hate how they add that freaking big ass flash right there. It's so annoying. It's like. It's not like you're gonna use it for anything. All right, so I added my admin. Um, I'll be going here. Press build. I hope I can keep this video under 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. So this is how you should appear in the game. This is basically what my tools look like. They basically look like the exact F3X model. Wow, really laggy. Hmm. Admin doesn't work. Oh well. Anyway, so what you want is press J right here to insert a new part. You can go right there. Uh, oh yeah, don't forget change the increment. Press Z. And X change it both to point one is Z and X right here you can just click Z or X on your keyboard point one just changes the um, stud so it doesn't go 
one stud like this but you can go you know half 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 or point 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 one to be exact anyway so I'll make this like one of my older facilities there we go R rise it up to be like almost almost perfect Man, these tools really annoy me there we go alright so let's you know extend it extend it all the way to the other side and then just do this and then there's a copy button right here I mean clone click it press Z and you'll try get to this side this is me only making a simple quick you know fast facility you can add things later on but I will probably be doing another tutorial on uh, maybe a more upgraded difficult facility that takes longer to do but yeah so oops so there's your three bricks or whatever so you wanna copy it this side again and then bring it like right here and then rotate it use the green palette right here to rotate it like this way and then you know just line it up with the make sure it's lined up evenly you don't want you don't want it to look ugly trust me if it looks like this it would like what make sure it's perfect see like this oh wait there we go alright so then again you want to move it a little bit this way and then move this part a little bit this way you know make it perfect there we go alright and then you'll want to extend it all the way to the other side and fix this part a little bit like that there we go alright um this will work so you know just copy that side and then you can bring it over just bring it over here there we go huh maybe I deleted oh no it's right there <laughs> alright so it should look like this this looks pretty good so what you want to do is press shift once to get in shift lock and then click sh press shift again and hold it and then you it, it lets you click more than one brick or part <coughs> so you see you can like move it all and undo alright so now you'll want to change what it looks like because of course this is not what you want it to look like so change it to smooth plastic and you want it to change you want to change it to the color close to the court so not that not that yeah so like this so it looks really nice um now you want to change the transparency not too much because then it looks really really ugly and the reflectance maybe to like 0.5 ah no that's too much point two it point two looks nice 
Um, I won't keep this wallpaper. I'll change it in studio later, and you'll see why. It just makes a really big difference. So now you'll want to make the walls. So I think the entrance should be right here. So that, you know, you come out, you see the two cords. Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay. All right. So now press J again. You know, you'll want to, like, make it a pretty decent entrance. There we go. This is okay. And now, you know, make it as big as you want. You can, I think I'll make it mine like that. Oh, wait. I should probably delete this one. There we go. Now, um, probably do this, make it smaller so it looks nice. Alright. Now, um, so I guess I'll be doing just a normal, easy one for this game. So copy, bring it up, go here, grab all three, shift, shift, like that, and then press that. You know, I don't want it too big because then it's like a long walk. <laughs> um, we should probably line it up right at the edge of the court. There we go. Uh, take the roof. Copy. Bring it down. Where it's about lined up with the court. Yeah, that works. Now, of course, you want to close it off. There we go. Like that. Now, after this, you'll want to make the walls. I think this is the most satisfying part of making a facility because, of course, it's the easiest other than the design and everything. Now see if you had Adam in your game and some speed, of course you could do this really quick. If you're looking for a quick facility, don't really look at the more decorative details I put in. If you're looking just for a facility to practice, you know, not for a team or anything, it should be pretty small and non-decorative, so it won't be laggy. But yeah, this is the type of facility I would make if someone was charging me for a simple one Anyway, yeah, this looks good, and especially walls should probably, you know. So anyway, select all the walls.
and we should raise it up like that and maybe we should put a, put some light in here so press J insert part change the transparency to 1 and then go to K press oops wait transparency to 1 go to K press off go to U press add you know make it as big as you want I'll probably put 30 you know just to light it up and boom you can change the color of it too you can make it like you know green yellow whatever I think I'll keep it at white because you know it's a good color to start with and then of course you want your roof so you know press just start with this side press X you know clone it raise it up and then drag it there we go so see this is a good quick easy facility tutorial um, this would be really really easy for you to make as you can see also see these um, parts of the hoop they are configurable so that they go into walls like this so you know just you can j j oops probably go one by one would be better you know drag them like this <clears throat> and look it looks really nice you know doesn't look too bad anyway so that's the tutorial for this part in the game now if we head on to studio we can add some things you know like a new skybox remove the base plate so you know right here it doesn't show studs it looked really nice let's do it let's leave game save online alright press edit alright so you're gonna wanna see there's some skyboxes right here so go to model search up city city skybox um, there should be one like this, like this, one of these. Press it, and then like this. Go to workspace, find base plate, press delete, and boom. Your new facility is now nice. So you want to go probably to the roof and change it to a smooth plastic so the studs aren't here. But look. Oh wait, the studs are still there weird let's see what I did <clears throat> surface oh you go you can go in here and just change it smooth top surface smooth man it'll fix you probably have to do that for everyone but as I said you know click it press control and it'll all take be taken care of boom see now as you can see it's a nice clean facility um, nothing bad here I think it's really nice I would use this if I had no other facility um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you want any other tutorials or have any questions about this drop it in the comments below I'll be happy to make a new tutorial for you just for you if something is too complicated or if you need help with anything um, also if you need help decorating a court just ask me I'll make a tutorial on that and you know it'll work out fine so thanks for watching out